Well, back in beautiful uh, southern Utah. I like southern Utah. I do not like especially northern, except where my son lives. That's nice. But he doesn't live in Utah, he lives in Wyoming. Right, right, right. So, but this is where I used to live uh, when I was. My last mistake, which was called uh, Sherry, or the Deuce as I like to call her because she's the second one and Deuce fits her. So, me and the Deuce used to live <laughs> seven thousand, about 6,000 feet up that plateau when you go up, up, up Cedar City, that's where I lived. Now I got a little place down here. I still have it. Uh, no one knows where it is. I like to keep it that way. Last night I got into town two o'clock in the morning because it took me almost three hours to get through Vegas because I kept getting stopped by cops because of you know what. I mean, they literally had every like, 300 yards, a highway patrol, a highway patrol, a highway patrol. So one was looking at the cars going by, and I noticed, because I was looking down at my GPS, and I swerved a little like this. And then the guy, the cop I just passed, instead of tearing after me, which I thought, oh good, he didn't, he just flicked his lights. The cop ahead of him, as soon as I passed him, I'm like, dude, I am doing nothing wrong unless you're just being safe because of the what happened. That's totally cool. He's like, well, that is part of it, but the, you were observed. I go by the guy behind you, right? He goes, yeah, he, he says you were swerving. I go, no, 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 no. One little swerve doesn't make a drunk driver, so... Anyways, he was cool, showing papers, and he goes, oh, and your uh, license plate light is out. I go, well, what? maybe if you go back and, uh, and, and go like this with your finger, it'll make it happy and it'll turn back on. And then he just looked at me, and I'm like, oh, shoot. And he's like, oh, <laughs> that's funny. No, 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 you just check it out when you stop tonight, you know, see if you can get it to work. I go, yeah, I just put a new one in. He goes, well, there's no lens. I'm like, there's no lens. Well, that's a problem. So there's nothing holding the bulb in. So, whatever. So that's that, but now I'm gonna be in southern Utah for a while, then I'll be in mid, and then I'll be in northern, and then I'll be out. I got another 500 miles to go today to get to my son's and then we're, we're going to be hanging out. But, uh, yeah, I'm spreading guitars out. Spreading them out. So, because I'm thinking people are going to start picking up. And, you know. In Burbank, there's no problem because there's always somebody there. They're all armed. They all have massive amounts of arm armament. Shotguns, mainly shotguns. You know, I got uh, two uh, 12 gauge, a uh, 410, and a 10 gauge. And they're ready to go. So, you know. And there's 12 cameras, all of them working uh, at all times. And I actually can have 14 cameras. So. Which there are 14 now, it's just because, you know, my parents are there. But they won't leave the house without me. So, my dad's just kicking back. Like 43 miles of cedar. I remember, because I used to drive this back and forth. Sunday night, drive from Cedar to Burbank, work at Photo Kim, the worst place in the world where Eric Cohen, the absolute worst manager on the face of the earth, that little jerk. Or he could be another little J. But uh, he is. He's a, he's a horrifying manager. Once he's made uh, general manager, 
I was the first one to go. You know why? Because of I'm Mormon. Second guy to get fired or laid off, Mormon. So I'm like, dude, I could get you with a lawsuit, but I, you know, I didn't have time for that crap. I was dealing with a divorce and another, you know, job offer, which I was gonna take. And my wife followed through on the divorce, but then she wanted to get remarried, so I was on my way up to remarry her. We all know the story, I got in a wreck. And while I was in the coma, she decided to leave me and she sold her house, and that's why I don't have the big house up here anymore. I just have the little one. Blah, 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 blah. She's a crazy ass soul bitch, but now she's somebody else's problem. Now she's on husband number five and making his life absolute hell. So that makes, that gives me a little pleasure. You know, because you know what? This guy's been married to her for like two years, and if he doesn't know, if he ain't smart enough to get out now, then he's not smart enough. So, uh, there you go. But who cares? Look how beautiful it is here. Look at this.